Weekly World 22 coming at you from Harmony Turbines. We'd like to welcome Josh back to the shop. He came in today to help us out, and it was finally cool enough that we could do some work and some welding in there today. It's been pretty hot otherwise. Perfect. Yep, and then it can swivel up and down without being in... Can it go down? Yep, good. All the way down. Perfect. And... All right, well, we won't need to do that. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Cool, now I can weld it up. All right. What we're doing here is working on a mechanism to allow us to raise and lower Harmony in the back of the truck safely out in the field. That's moving now. Yeah. Pull it up. Did it? I yeah. heard it. I just heard it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're seeing the first few moments here right along with us where we began to finally raise Harmony up with our winch system. This is going to be with us out in the field to allow us to lay it down safely for transport and then raise it up when we get to our testing location and uh, begin capturing wind and data. So that is vital that we have a, a safe and secure mechanism to both raise and lower the entire turbine up and down in the back of the truck out in the field with winches and whatever we have with us in the truck. Yep. Oh, how's that fulcrum? It's not moving. It's, it is, it is going tiny. Kind of but we're already past the beginning. We're on the 60. I think we need black Yeah. Well, when we do it in the truck, we're going to have something different anyway. All right, so what we've got going on here, I'm going to keep this in fast mode so that you're not bored to death, but we're using the stronger, faster electric winch to bring Harmony up about 75% to the tipping point where it's sort of perfectly balanced and any more it would actually fall forward as it finishes standing upright. We don't want that because that would, of course, damage things badly and be dangerous. So we're attaching a D-ring, we're welding a D-ring onto the back, and then we're going to use a hand winch, it's actually called a worm winch, to safely lay it down the rest of the way as we get it to that tipping point, which is coming up here shortly. We found that the front tips are about 22 inches off of the uh, table in this case. They're about 22 inches high, and that, that's almost perfect equilibrium between the front winch and the back winch where it's it's sort of balanced on that fulcrum or that point at the bottom so as we're approaching that here in a moment you'll see we keep testing the lines we keep feeling trying to see where that tipping point is and josh is measuring with the the tape measure there right about there there we are we're at the tipping point you can almost with your finger push the turbine to one side or the other so now what we're doing is all the tensions off the front winch and we are just simply lowering it down with the back hand winch and that is a very gentle operation that we simply lay it down in its vertical position and then in the truck we'd be able to of course unfurl it and do any amount of testing that we want to do for the next couple hours in our location then we have to reverse the entire process lay it down secure it for the drive home to take it back to headquarters but um, the first time that we did this we're being extra careful we're being very very cautious we're making sure that we're not doing anything where you know we're putting too much pressure on any given point or on any of the cables or anything like that so it was slow it was tedious for the first lift and the first raise but we wanted to make sure we were doing it safely and and watching all of the the different variables carefully we're going to speed this last clip up only two times it's actually just twice normal speed because going down after we finally raised it up and got all the measurements we needed figured out where the tipping point was going down only took us about uh, five or six minutes so this is in 2x 2x speed and we are coming down very very smoothly we're using the hand winch to come down for the first 25 percent or so until we get to that tipping point then we hand everything off from that hand winch in the back to the electric winch in the front where we lower it down to the rest of uh, get it horizontal the one thing we have to be careful of is that we don't let our 
hand winch turn into a bird nest once we take the tension off there. So we've got to come up with a little way to take care of that issue and make sure that we kind of clamp the wire once we have the tension off of that back one. But that's a minor issue. It's nothing that we have to even worry about really. So even at 2x speed, you can see how terribly slow, or I shouldn't say terribly, but how very slow it comes down because it's it's nice. That's what we want. We don't want it to come down quickly or in an unsafe manner. We want it to come down nice and slow, get to that tipping point, and I keep testing the wire and pushing on it as we approach that tipping point. The front winch there, we can you can see it starting to take up the slack, and then when we get to the tipping point, everything's going to be held by the front winch as we lay it down the rest of the way. So, all in all, today was an extremely successful day. We're going to fabricate a sort of a box that will be self-contained. We're going to have the front winch and the back winch securely welded to that box. The box will be about uh, 10 and a half feet in length. It'll fit in the back of the truck, but it really doesn't even need to be secured in the back of the truck to work. You could actually lay this box down on the middle of a gymnasium floor or the middle of our shop floor, and then when we put Harmony in it on top of this box, locking the, um, the fulcrum or the the rotational point there at the bottom where it it's tipping on that back point once we have that locked in it would be able to pull the turbine up and lay it down safely all without being attached to anything else it'll kind of be a self-contained raising and lowering system and we're going to take it one step further and once we lay it down then we'll also use the winch to pull the turbine forward in the truck bed to get it all the way to the front of the the truck bed so that we don't have too much hanging out the back of the truck. The turbine's about 12 and a half feet. Here you can see we've handed off from the back winch to the front winch and how much faster that goes. That front electric winch is just phenomenal. I We could have bought, well actually we have another winch that we could use an electric winch on the back, but there's really no need because that first 25%, you wanna go really slow with that. You wanna go really carefully and it's fine being a hand winch in the back. So. Not a big deal, but um, that front electric winch really makes it nice there. As you can see, that went down in just a matter of seconds. And that's, again, we're only at 2x speed right now. So super successful day. This proved that we can lift it and lay it back down safely. We have a few more things to perfect with pushing the turbine forward or pulling it forward with the winch and then pulling it back so that we can stand it up. But um, this proved that with our self-contained setup we'll be able to raise and lower it in the field safely so that we can get our testing data that we need our validation and performance data that we need in the field we're going to be making our own wind pennsylvania doesn't have very good wind so we're going to make our own wind and we'll do that in the back of our truck and uh, start getting data and validating performance harmony turbines we now have the power to change the world.